Hello everyone and welcome to another video brought to you by WebFidTouch.com. This is video 16 the HTML training series and in this video we will be learning how to put an image as our background. So let's go ahead and begin. But before we do any coding, you need to make sure that you have an image that, we, that you want to put as your background. Now the image can be anything. Like mine is just a gray to black gradient that I made in Photoshop in like one minute. Just go ahead and create something like that. Maybe in paint if you don't have Photoshop. Just anything, any image will do. Or maybe a picture of your family. We can use that. As long as it's an image that we can put as the background. Now to the coding process. What we're going to have to do is let's go ahead and head and make a style tag. And type equals text slash CSS. This is what we learned in an earlier video. And where are we going to put this background at? Well, we're going to have to put it in the body tag. So let's go ahead and put body. Let's go ahead and get ready to type some definitions for its style. And now what we're going to have to type in is background hyphen image. Now let's go ahead and put a value in. And the value that we're going to have to put in is the file name of your image which my image name is called background.png so what, so what you have to do is type in the URL and your file name which mine is background.png closing parentheses and we're done with that statement and since my background is kind of a dark color actually it is a dark color it's kind of a gray to black I'm going to go ahead and make my font color to white just so it's more readable and if we go ahead and test this, it should put the image as my background, which it did. As you can see now, there's that gray to black gradient that I made, and everything's looking good, except for one thing. You see down here, this it looks like the image is repeating. Well, that's because it is. And to stop the image from repeating all the time over the whole web page, what you're going to have to do is, going into the body tag right here, the body styling, I have to write background, repeat, and then we'll put no repeat. And what that's going to do is stop the image from repeating across the entire web page. Now if we go ahead and run this in Internet Explorer, you can see the image has stopped repeating across the whole entire web browser. But you see how there is all this white space over here? Really the only way you can solve this, or a really good way to solve this, would just be to make this image right here bigger so it spans across the entire web page. And that is all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you learned a little bit about putting a image as your background. Thank you all for watching. Go ahead and subscribe on our YouTube channel and go ahead and register as a member on our site at web webvidtouch.com. I will see you all next video. Goodbye.